Look around yourself. Do you have a smartphone with you? Do you see a computer in the room? Is there some sort of screen? Is there lighting, heating, ventilation? Not only can you use electronics for electronics purposes, but in the electrical industry, a lot of controls of electrical circuits are done through electronics. We're seeing unprecedented demand uh, for jobs in electronics. Yeah, I got hired straight out of, <laughs> out of my last quarter. <laughs> Like, if anything, that is a testament to how good this program is. One of the big drivers is that baby boomers are retiring. In the electronics industry, and this is across the board, whether it's industrial power or the biomed or aviation. I am learning as fast as I can because most of the staff is retiring. <laughs> like it's pretty much the whole of the plant is retiring within the next couple of years. There's another driver as well as there's new technologies. Automated manufacturing is becoming a really big deal. And so there's new things that are coming about with uh, robots and programmable logic controllers and the emergence of IT into electronics. Local industries such as Boeing, Amazon, Starbucks, um, because Boeing is such a large company, but there are a lot of small contractors. And those contractors are also looking for skilled employees. I think ours is one of the most diverse of all the programs in the state. Many of the, the programs, they have good programs, but they have a, a specific focus on a specific subject. So we're gonna start with voltage, but ultimately when we go out to the real world. This was the only one that was offering like the full EET course with the AC theory, DC theory, like breaking it down all the way to Ohm's law and then right back up to solid state. And there weren't a whole lot of schools that were offering that kind of level of education in the electronics field. When students finish our programs, uh, most of them will walk out with a two-year degree. The two-year degree could be industrial power and control, could be mechatronics, it could be healthcare technology management, which is biomedical technician, it could be electronics engineering technology, it could be electronics technology, so there's uh, at least five degrees, and then there's a variety of certificates. voltage, amperage, or resistance, and then again the scales. In our Introduction to Technology class, they will have direct interface with industry because the folks that are in industry come in and teach the courses. I tell my students, what I'm teaching you does not change. There's not a version 2.0 or 3.0. This is physics and electronics. It's the laws of physics and electronics, and they don't change. Once you've learned them and mastered them, uh, they won't change. You own them for the rest of your life. We've seen so much grant money come in, it's just been uh, phenomenal. We, we, we support really expensive programs like fiber optics, which most schools only teach it in theory. We teach it in depth. I am a hands-on kind of learner. They want working on the equipment. They want the hands-on experience. And they want to solve the problems. They want to see how equipment works from the bolt and nuts all the way to the entire humongous uh, systems. I've never had so much hands-on in a class before. The instructors here are amazing because you run into snags along the way and they're right there and not only just help you but encourage you to try and figure it out. Our broadband program, we have significant new equipment, our fiber optics program, our industrial power program. We could open two emergency rooms with all the equipment that we have in our biomed area. We have two brand new robotic systems. That is, uh, you can see those robots in the uh, industry settings as well. There is no typical student. We have hobbyists. We have people who aren't even interested in going beyond the first couple courses. We have international students. We have domestic students. I've had students in their 70s and some high school students. There really isn't uh, an average student. Diversity is a big deal here. It made going to school a lot easier knowing that you have teachers who are behind you and not trying to put uh, roadblocks in your way. So, which has been an experience throughout most of my career. <laughs>
it's about $12,000 for two years, which, you know, if you go to a private school or go to the UW, you're going to be, I mean, yeah, it, it is a bargain in the world of education. But the thing that, that really excites me is students getting jobs. I mean, that, that is really what this is about for me.